So the end of 2020 is now pretty close. And when we hit January 1st, people all over the world will stop drinking or smoking. They'll go on diets or go back to the gym, assuming they're open. They'll start that course to get them on the career ladder or the promotion ladder that they want. They'll take up that sport or hobby they've always wanted to. They'll start planning the adventure of a lifetime. Bullshit. You'll finish all the alcohol left over from Christmas or that last packet and then start next week. You'll dive into what statistically one of the most depressing months of the entire year by trying to cut out all the bad food, read as things you actually enjoy, end up feeling really down and then overcompensating. But it's okay because you'll get back on it from Monday. Oh no, the gyms aren't open because of lockdown. Oh well, guess you can't work off all that extra fat you've put on. Or the gyms are open, but it's too busy. So you'll try again tomorrow. Or you don't like the trainers there, or you don't like the equipment. So, you know, you'll do something different instead. You'll open your phone, spend 20 minutes on social media, and then Google that course. You'll check the price, the time it's going to take to do it, the places it can be done, and then you'll find a reason you simply can't do it. It's too expensive. You don't have the time. You can't get there. Oh, well, there's a bit of a pattern emerging here. See, many of us decide, almost out of nowhere, we're going to begin this potentially life-changing scenario without giving it any real thought. Putting any kind of planning into it, no real idea why you're going to do it. You haven't even looked at how you're going to do it, but you're definitely doing it because it's a new year and a new start. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if this is you, you're probably going to fail, and you've probably failed at every single New Year's resolution you've tried. Why? Well, the clues in what I've just said. You want to change your life so much, it's so important to you, yet you've never even taken the time to check what it'll actually cost you in terms of time, money, and logistics. It's so important to you, but you haven't already started doing it. You haven't even tried. That's how bad you want to change your life. Well, what if I were to tell you there's actually a pretty simple way to ensure you're setting yourself up for success and with just a little bit of work, you can guarantee yourself that you actually stick to it. Can you imagine spending most of your life just following a single path because it's what you're supposed to do? I mean, can you honestly say with total conviction that you absolutely love your job and it's what you're living for? That you couldn't be any happier at all with your physical or mental health? I mean, have you got your finances in check so all eventualities are covered? If you've answered no to those, then this is pretty much going to be for you. Answered yes to them all? then you've got life all figured out. And, you know, you could stop watching and go and binge some Netflix or something. But if you've answered no to any single one of those questions, then you're just like I was. I spent year after year after year following a crowd well, until I ended up with a good job, a solid career path and climbing the ladder. Only it wasn't the right ladder for me. And you know when you feel something's not right. But how often do you actually listen to that? I went from being a reasonably fit 20-year-old to being a 20-stone 30-year-old. And although I never, ever admit it, what I saw looking back in the mirror made me massively unhappy. I mean, can you imagine hating the sight of yourself and then spending virtually every waking hour thinking about a job you don't like or being at the job you don't like? doing the job you don't like. Sounds like a recipe for disaster, right? So what changed? I mean, I didn't just wake up one day not being fat with a new job, my own business, and being in the best physical and mental shape I'd been in for years. No. I put one foot in front of the other and took a leap. Just picture yourself now. 
taking the course that would lead you to a new job, having conversations with people in that industry, and then within just a few months, landing your dream job. From simply changing your outlook and going to see a speaker instead of a movie, that allowed you to create a habit that's run for over 500 consecutive days. No days off, no sick days, no excuses. Losing over six stone in less than 12 months. Launching a business, changing the way people interface with companies and simplifying lives, as well as launching your own brand where you can help others in ways you can't even imagine yet. In short, from that one single step, you unlock the life you want to be living. That's my story. Those are just some of the things I've been able to achieve using the mind model. And you can do this too. See, I'm not special. I'm no more capable of achieving anything in life than you are right now. The difference is I have a system and it is this that's allowed me to change my entire life, do a complete U-turn on everything. And it's a system you can use too. This isn't just about fitness, finances, happiness or health. It's about you. Everything you ever wanted starts and finishes with you. The mind model will help you turn your thoughts into actions. The mind model will help you plan, prepare and get going, putting one foot in front of the other. Don't wait until the new year. The time is never going to be right. The right time doesn't come unless you make it happen. If you want change in your life, start planning right now. I truly believe that if you can simply put one foot in front of the other, then you can achieve anything. Take your first step right now and check the link below to find out how the mind model can help you achieve everything you ever wanted.